Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife here. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally, where am I gonna put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please, please. He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that poor house. You're under arrest. Uh, I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged with it? I'm not Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a video from Looney Lonnie and Georgia Transparency. Well, I guess they decide to go fraud at a at a post office. And things don't turn out too well. People get upset. The police officers show up. And I'm not going to spoil the details. You know how it goes with these idiots. So sit back, relax. Let's have a good laugh at these fools and enjoy the show. Uh, you all trying to bail that? Yeah. I was just about to ask you the same thing, Lonnie. Have you read it? Because apparently you haven't. Since you're so highly educated in law like every other fraud or claims, read this. And you just posted it too, so read it. Photographs for news purposes may be taken. It says may be. Read your rules and regulations there governing is. conduct. No yeah. recording yes, there is. Apparently, you still have a hard time reading because it says, except where prohibited by official signs, security force personnel, or other authorized personnel, or a federal court order or rule. Well, the guy is an employee of the post office, so he has the right to make you stop recording. And they can also tell you to leave. Because after all, it is a business. They have every right to refuse service. I mean, it's not like you're actually there to buy a stamp or send a box out. You're there just to cause trouble, like you already are. So we have customers Look, in here. Come. So you yeah. Wrong regulations. That's yeah, it, it's right here on your board. Look. All right, we'll call the police. Oh, okay, here, come look. Let me show you right here. Look. Once again, Lonnie, if you read it, it says it states except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives apply. Well, the guy's giving you a directive. He's an employee of the UPS, the Postal Service. So he's giving you a directive not to record. Or a federal court order or rules prohibiting it. Well, here, if you look a little further past that, it says persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of, and it's talking about non-commercial purposes only. And here's the other one, Lonnie. Since apparently you can't read, it says space occupied tenant agency for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official of the occupying agency concerned. Well, there you go. You don't have written permission, and you're definitely not doing it for non-commercial because you're putting on YouTube and making money off of their image, which is illegal too. But we all know frauders never follow the law, even though they claim they do. Look. Thank you. Look, here it is right here. Come read it. I'll show it to you right here, look. Where? It's right here. Where? About the oh. third. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it me or Rusty Boy spaced out on some kind of medicine? Where? 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 Or is it he's just happy he got the five for five at Taco Bell? You all need to leave with your cameras outside, please. Yeah, look, let me show you right here, look. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't override banking regulations. When there's people in here that are conducting business, you have to step outside. Please. Are you a supervisor? Can't speak to a supervisor, please. Since Looney Lonnie was nice enough to post the address and the phone number for this post office, I think we should redress our government and tell them what we think, and let them know that we are upset how they handled these idiots, and they should file privacy complaints against these idiots. Don't you agree with me, good people? Eric. Step away from me, please. 12 seconds later. What is the purpose of you all? News. News purposes. Is that what? Right. You don't have any press release? Yeah, they're right here, they're right around my neck. Sir, first off, they're there to do what they're doing. To cause trouble, start a confrontation, 
for clicks and views. That's all they're doing. The more you interact and engage the way you are is more content for them. So they get more clicks and views. If you just say, hey, how are you? Stuff like that. What can I help you with? They're not going to get the video that they want and they're going to leave. But now since you're engaging with them, they're going to play around with you to keep getting it riled up for more content and more clicks and views. And you know, Lonnie, if you really want to be taken seriously, why would you do that with a press pass? Why would you make one so stupid like that? No. She would make it. One, two, two, two. White female. Blue jean shorts. Is that all you own? Blue jean shorts and a black hoodie? My God, I hope you clean them every day because you must stink. Black hoodie. I have blue, blue jean shorts. 60 years old. 60. Yeah, blue jean shorts. She's probably about 45 to 50. Ma'am, can you step back from the counter, please? This is a counter to conduct business. Yeah, You're conducting business. business. Journalism. You are not. Yeah. Step back from the counter, please. No. That's a that's a homemade press pass, man. Yeah, I'm an independent journalist, yeah. It's made with the Crayola Prolon, sir. Like I said in a previous comment, if you really want to be taken seriously and go around claim you're a journalist and press and all this other BS... Would you walk around with a press pass colored with crayon? No, you wouldn't. Why not spend the money and go to Staples, get one professionally made, that way you look like a professional, even though you're a fraud editor, get one made so it looks professional, that way people take you seriously. Come on out, man. We're going to close the lobby down. Come on out. The line of purchase right here. Yeah, but I was looking at all the other stuff that y'all have for sale. I mean, you don't have in your I haven't had a chance to look. You just called the police on me, so I'm waiting for them right now. As soon as the police, as soon as I deal with the police, I'll purchase my items. Oh yes, you're gonna purchase your items after you're done with the police. Your one cent stamp that you're gonna buy just to show that you paid for something there. Typical fraud or nonsense. They go cause all this trouble in the post office. Oh, I'm here to buy something. I'm here to buy something. So I'm allowed to record because I'm buying something. Can I, can I educate you real quick? So yeah. What is the problem? I have no idea. I have to ask the person behind the counter that called the police. Well, why are y'all filming in here? That's For news purposes. For what? News purposes. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Yeah, can I show you on your board right here? Your rules and regulations. It's called Poster 7. It's rules and regulations governing conduct on a postal service, on a postal property. Can I show you real quick and we can educate yourself? Oh, yeah, she's going to want an education from a loser like you. Hey, I got a question for you, Marky. Oh, do you still go by that or is it Lonnie? I forget. Did you wash out of the military? Is that why you're doing what you're doing? No one will hire you so, because you probably have a couple convictions under your belt. And you're trying to disguise them by changing your name and your personality. Is that what you're doing? I was trying to show her right here. Their, their rules and regulations are right here. Mm -hmm. And about the third paragraph down it, that's what gives me the right to be in here and record for news purposes, sir. A little longer than a few minutes later. Percent for a fact that the Tuscaloosa Police Department, y'all do not violate the rights of the people. I know y'all don't do that. Tough for you. Yeah, and I can... Come on, Rusty boy. Stop kissing that officer's behind already. Get your lips off him. Y'all think it's funny now. <laughs> we're not laughing. We're laughing amongst ourselves. But can you please make this shit on this side? Oh, no, Rusty. They're laughing at you. I can guarantee that 100% they are laughing their butts off at you. And you want to know something, Rusty boy? You and Lonnie aren't going to be laughing too much longer either. This side is I prefer to laugh. Can I buy a stamp, please? No, sir. Well, I'm not exposed until this is resolved. Can I buy a stamp, please? Um. No. no? Okay. Can I buy a stamp, sir? Yeah, we, we can also refuse, sir. No, you can't. Public, you're public service. Rusty boy, going around to everybody that's behind the counter saying, Can I buy you some stamp, ma'am? Can I buy you a stamp, sir? And then being told that they're closed until everything's taken care of. You're not going to get a stamp. And you're not going to get a stamp anyways because you just want to buy your one cent stamp to prove that you were there for a legitimate service. Remember, Rusty boy, they are a business. They have every right to refuse service. 
unless it's something that has to deal with race, sexual orientation, stuff like that, then they can't refuse business. I will show you my oh. credentials as soon as you can show me your credentials and practice free speech. Cat got your tongue. What religion no. do you practice? That's you practice not your religion? business. Where's your credentials to practice your religion? That's none of your business what religion I practice. Then it's none of your business what press credentials I have. It is my business when you're here recording our customers conducting a financial transaction. Do not give them the chance to communicate with you in a derogatory way. That is really some powerful advice. Ma'am, you're arguing with a moron. You're never going to win this argument because you can't stoop that low to their level. Now he's locked. Now she's locked me in. I bet your rusty boys used to seeing that a female slamming the door in his face and locking the door in front of him. I was trying to lock him out. Would you go out? She locked me. In. She's locked me in now. I, 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 she's kidnapped me now. That's kidnapping. Would you like to leave? We're, we're glad to let you out. Yes, sir. We will. Oh my God. I hate to break this to you, Marky, or should I say, Lonnie? If you didn't attempt to leave, you're not being kidnapped. The birds again, was it? Oh, he said that he somebody was eating a mailbox. This is delivery attempted. Down six and nine. City route two. So we don't we don't serve that. Did you check? Is it these all these people waiting? How great would that be? Since she's camped in the corner like a mouse hiding from a cat, if somebody just let one rip right in that area and walked away and pretty much just stunk the entire lobby out. Wouldn't that be great? Do you want to come out? Uh, I'm, I would like the option, yes. <laughs> oh, just the option? Yeah, I mean, I would like the option, yeah. I don't have an option to. Uh, I would like the option to leave, yes. I said I would like the option to leave, yes. I'll give you the option. If you want to leave, I can tell them to open the door. Well, I mean, I would like the option to leave, yes. I don't have an option to right now. Well, Marky boy, you have two options. You're going to stay in there, and the door is going to be locked. Or if you decide to leave and move your little feet, or I should say your big Ronald McDonald feet in flip-flops, They'll open the door and let you out. If you if you tell me that if you request to come out, then I will get them to unlock the door. So why are they why are they closing before business hours? Because there's a disturbance. Oh, how is that? This is that's just what they feel. Oh, there's a disturbance. Supervisor coming though. Uh, supervisor coming. Your supervisor or theirs? Huh? Your supervisor or theirs? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not refusing to leave. I'm just in a public area. They lock the door on me, so. Well, Marky boy, all you have to do is walk up to those people behind the desk and say, I'm ready to leave now. And you know what will happen? They'll open the door, let you walk right out. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. You want to you have the option. If you, you want, if you tell well, me you want I mean, right now, I, it, sh it tells me that I don't have the option. Yeah. If you this, want this, this, I can unlock the door. You can in? I can get them to unlock the door. Oh, yeah, if you can FM unlock the door. I would like the option to leave, yes. No, not the option. Do you want to get out? Well, I don't have an option right now. You unlock the door and then you remain in for no reason. Do you want to, do you want to come out? Well, I mean, there's, there's customers here waiting for service, too. So, uh, we got a supervisor coming right Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, officer, I know you're waiting for your supervisor and stuff like that, but enough is enough already. Tell them to open the door. You walk in there, place Marky Boy in handcuffs, arrest him for loitering, trespassing, harassment, whatever you could throw the book at him and be done with it already. Haul his butt to jail. You get my good side. <laughs> Working for, for nothing, doing nothing and getting paid. Sorry, Looney Lonnie, but I hate to break this to you. Look at that. The USPS cost taxpayers exactly zero dollars. They have always been self-sustaining. There you go, Looney Lonnie. So you're wrong once again. This is, this is your last chance to leave. Yeah, that's right. exactly right. Okay. Both leave me, please. Ma'am, do you want so, to issue the trespass warning? So, so, so if I, I couldn't hear any of that, so what, what's going on? If we okay. don't leave, we're going to jail. Yeah. So if I don't leave right now, I'll go to jail. Yes. Uh, all right, hold up. I, I can't. I can't hear you, sir. So, yes. so if I don't leave right now, I'll be arrested. That's, that's exactly okay. Right. Hey, can I can I have your name, sir? I'm Sergeant Canterbury. Hey, can I have a, a badge number, please? Can I have a badge number, please? Seventeen seventy. Okay. Do you have a supervisor, sir? I am. I am the supervisor. Yeah, but you're, there's somebody above you. 
what is it with frauders and supervisors? If a supervisor shows up, doesn't give them the answer they want. Oh, I want somebody higher than you. Well, somebody higher than them comes up. Well, I don't like your answer. I want somebody higher than you. No, that's fine. Trespass me all you want. I won't be back. Y'all have to get back. I'm not a public problem. Well, look, look, look. Look, look, look. Y'all went in the truck, bailed in the lead. Sir, how can you take okay. me to a jail uh, for obstruction? I'm trying to get you to trespass on it. I don't want it. I want to leave. I want to no, be no, left they, alone. They want to you. Yeah, but that, the that. crimes the crime doesn't happen until I after I stay. I well, you did commit a crime in there. You were told to leave several times, and you refused to leave. Public sidewalk, please. You guys don't know alone. how well, how trespass please, works? Leave me alone now. No, no. We're going to give you a trespass. I, I don't I, pay. Okay. Leave me alone. Okay, what's your name? My name's Russ. All right. That's it. That, I'm going to give you Russ. That's all. My name is Russ. Y'all are Russ. still, until we tell you can go, you're still being detained. So I'm being detained, sir? What crime? The incident that was going on inside. Russ? For what crime? Because they want to trespass. They want to trespass. Yeah, but the, the, what can, crime did sir, I commit, trespass. sir, you were causing the, a disturbance at the post office. How? How was I? Out of here, how? Stole his shit hey. down. How? Okay, it's Get out of here. Sir, to, sir, sir, if you don't leave, you're going to jail yeah, too. I will. There's room for a lot of people oh, down there. I'm just saying they're showing shit down. Y'all. Look, let them do our job, man. Please. It's amazing how tough these frauditors are when there's police around, but when the police aren't around. And they meet a guy like that guy, you know what's going to happen, and it's not going to end very well. At least for the frauditor's sake. Do you understand that the crime doesn't happen unless I stay there? You can't just ID me. That is actually a Fourth Amendment violation, sir. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, no it is not. Yes, it is. What's, what's the statute, sir? I asked to leave. And I left. And we're identifying you, so... You don't need to identify me. I left, sir. No, you don't. So if I don't, what's going to happen? You'll be arrested for obstructing governmental operations. So how am I obstructing, sir? Do you not understand? Because we're trying to handle what you started in there. I didn't start anything, sir. I walked... Did you Did you, did you actually read the... Did you read the rules and regulations in there? Can I ask you a question? Did you... Okay, I'm asking you a question. Did you read their rules and regulations? That's irrelevant. It's right on the wall. It does, and it says that I... Once again, Lonnie, you keep going back to the same poster seven paragraph. And do you understand there's more than one paragraph in that poster seven? But we'll go back to the same one you keep bringing up. Look at that. Photographs for news purposes may be taken. It says may. It doesn't say you can or you will be taking them in the entrances, lobbies, stuff like that. It says may. Like if I use for an example, if I tell a family member, I may go to the store later on. That doesn't mean I'm actually going to go to the store. It just says I might go to the store. Are you are you are you are you going to give us your name and then? Uh, so if I don't, what's going to happen? We'll put you in jail. You'll yeah, put me in jail. jail. Okay, yeah. I don't have an ID on me. Okay, you can give it to me. You give me a name and date of birth, and I can. Are you ready? Me. Congratulations, y'all just earned a he lawsuit. Earned <laughs> Federal lawsuit here in uh, Tuscaloosa. Okay. What, what is your name? Lana. Okay. 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 You don't I care. L A N A. You don't care. Last name. Patrick, common spelling. Oh, and the freaking people. Yeah. And you know this is going to come right to you, right? That's who I put on the federal lawsuit. Not him, you. Because you're the I one that's taking got, it. Uh, hey, I was just uh, threatened with obstruction if I didn't ID for not. Are you live? I'm live now. Okay. We did our rights. That's a federal lawsuit, sir. Yeah. He doesn't care. He just he doesn't He'll, care. That's he, fine. Reasons why the officers don't care is because they know the lawsuit is not going to go anywhere. Even if you do file it, where's it going to go? They're going to read and laugh their butts off. Why did y'all not leave when they asked you to leave? Because I don't have to, sir. Because it's called civil to. rights. Because <laughs> we have a right to be in there. You sure about that? No, your right to be there ends as soon as you start causing an issue. How did I cause an issue, sir? The people who how, were there. How did I cause an issue? You to leave. How did I cause an issue? I wasn't here. Well, there. When, did you actually? They said, do, they said that you had to leave. How did I cause an issue? I, so you have no idea how I cause an issue, but you're going to trespass me. All I have to know is that the people. Who well, it, it, here isn't policing 101 to do an investigation and find out all the facts before no, you commit I don't a crime? Have to do that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did you really? to say that and you're a supervisor sir yes that's right <laughs> i don't think you know who i am do you i hate to break the news to you sweetheart but you're nobody you're a nothing you're a zilts you're a loser all you're gonna do is get your idiotic subscribers when they watch this video they're gonna call flood the the police department they're gonna call flood the post office send emails and that's all that's gonna happen nothing else is gonna happen knowing you means absolutely squat you I will. You'll find. You are. Wow. They're gonna find out. I don't care who you then are. You'll you'll find out, sir. Okay. It's called a 1983, a 42, 1983 claim. It's uh -huh. and actually with with you guys, multiple people. Test.
A few moments later. And whoever actually issues the trespass is who we actually come after too. So. Okay. Yeah, federal lawsuit. Yeah, you don't care. You will though. Okay. You have a nice boat or a nice car okay. and a good asset. Hey, yo. You're all big on uh, suing everybody, Lonnie. But here's the thing. I think people should start suing you for using their image without their permission. You're making money off of their image, and did they give you permission? Where's that signed waiver? Send it to me in email. I'd like to see it. We're not free to leave until we confirm your identity. So if you have a driver's license or some type of ID, uh, while you're not required in this situation to provide that, that would uh, be beneficial. I don't, I don't have one on me, sir. Fifteen minutes later. Uh-oh, it sounds like somebody screwed up Rusty's Taco Bell order. Looks like somebody's getting a complaint filed against them. What state is it? What? y'all's flag jacked up. Look at that. I agree with you 100% that that's... That's good. disgusting. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Look at that. It's literally tathered. It's literally hanging from the flagpole. What flag do you got to say for that? As you can see, the sergeant's on the phone dealing with a phone call from one of the subscribers of J-Town Press or Georgia Transparency. And we're going to be taking a listen to that and listen to how he treats this, the caller because it's perfect. That's how you treat these idiots. Stay and they would be arrested. We finally got them out. And then uh, the post office wanted to issue a trespass warning, bar them from the property. So uh, they initially refused to identify themselves to the officers for the purpose of getting the information from the trespass. So then we had to threaten them with obstruction. And then uh, after all that, now we finally got what we need and they're both uh, about to be free to go. About, about to be? be are we free to go or not? Oh, nosy. Make their minds up. It's not it's, a super sir, sir, w w sir I, I don't know what you're trying to do. We don't, we don't care about race here in Tuscaloosa. It don't matter if they were black, brown, I didn't orange, say anything about race. Or, or, say anything about or, race. race. Russie boy, you obviously could see the officers on the phone talking to somebody. Why would you think that it was directed towards you? Now let's continue watching and listen to what he has to say to this idiot. Talk on the phone. Oh, we we would have we would have traded. Y'all are screwed. Y'all are done. I'm telling you, all three of y'all gonna be answering to a federal. Sorry to interrupt y'all, but thank you for your service. God bless you. Uh, Okay, sir. I, I don't know what you're trying to bait me into, but it, it, it's it's it, it, it's 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 not going to no work. The, the the staff from the post office asked your people to leave, and rather than comply with the staff, they wanted to cause an issue. So now they're trespassed from the property. So oh, it's probably something else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's it for the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I just can't believe. Why would people go around? harassing other people like this. It, it's so ridiculous already. And it's so stupid and pointless. There's no need for it. Get a job. I mean, I, they probably can't get jobs because of probably their history and their past, but just try to find a job. I mean, McDonald's is hiring. You can get a job cutting the grass too. Just find a job that's meaningful and honest, not this frauditing crap. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, leave comments, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Somebody call the police on these! Somebody call the police! He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. Not trailer trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? What are you doing? You put your hands up. This is a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, it is. Who are you, bro? Who are you? I'm on a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, I am. I'm out of public. Call the police. Get your phone. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail. Well, they locked me in the damn elevator. Yeah. It, 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 it wasn't me. <laughs>